All right, guys and girls, this is uh, a pivotal moment in uh, the uh, beach buggy build. Uh, beach buggy build. Uh, and I am back at you, uh, Carl Geller with Carl Geller Builds. And um, today we are going to see whether or not I have uh, the capability to weld. So we're going to start <clears throat> on this structural member. If you remember, I kind of cut it out when I was cutting the side of this, not realizing that eventually I would like to keep this. Um, so I've uh, got it, I've, I've ground it all down to bare metal as best as I could. I've got it lined up really good. There was some kind of foam and kind of bullshit inside of there that I scraped out to try to keep it from catching on fire. So I've got it held together with a little magnet there. Uh, it holds pretty good on its own. There's still a little bit of bullshit in there I gotta get rid of. Um, and um, got my welder all set up. It's a uh, uh, Chicago electric welding, whatever. It's a flux core welder, cheapo from Harper Freight. Uh, got my uh, camera all set up. Hopefully, I won't embarrass myself too much. I actually um, took the time to try to protect my upholstery that I'm gonna keep. Um, so, without any further ado, uh, let's see if we can uh, lay down a bead. I almost forgot. I wanted to uh, just uh, clue you in on a couple other things. I also made sure that I uh, disconnected the ground um, from the battery, so I don't know, kind of send some funky currents through. I've also listened to some of the U2 guys. Uh, I got a uh, um, nozzle gel and an anti-splatter spray because the flux core apparently is a real mess. I uh, got myself some leather gauntlets and a uh, halfway decent self-darkening uh, mask because I know I'm going to need all of two hands and it seems to work pretty good. Let's see if I can demonstrate this. I'm going up to the sun. Uh, I know I had it sensitized where it was shut down for the sun, but Maybe not. Oh, there it goes. All right, so hopefully my corneas aren't burnt out by the time that uh, this thing decides to darken. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna give it a whirl. Wish me luck. Hmm, it appears that I might actually have the, have the ability. Hmm, wire's too fast.
Nice. Got a fire in here. Got myself a fire. <laughs> Were you guys watching it happen? <laughs> well, I was busy <laughs> welding. <laughs> well, here's my first welds, guys. <laughs> and my first uh, first fire while welding it. But uh, all I've done is, uh, let me get this camera here. Oh, shit. That's exciting. I'm glad I put down that uh, that blanket. All right, so very first welds. Guys, it's so bright out here. I can't really see. So um, you know, I don't think that's half bad. I've seen worse. I'm pretty proud of myself. My first time. This looks a little bit like chicken shit, but it'll be hidden. Uh, Oh, I got a fire down in there too. So I guess I guess I should uh, get the fire extinguisher. Make sure everything is out. Stay tuned, guys. Make a little bit of a mess in a minute. I keep the camera rolling for your for your enjoyment. It'd be awesome not to have burnt down my car. Yeah, just spray some water down in there. Spray a little bit of water. So I'm not making a total mess of everything. Properly observe it for a while. I'll make sure not to park it inside my garage for a while. But getting back to the weld situation, uh, doesn't look half bad for a rookie. I'll get back to you in a few. All right, so uh, put out the fires. Um, did a little bit of cleaning up. The sucky thing is I can't effectively get in and grind all elements of the weld um, with the uh, flapper brush. I mean, I would need a little tool and you know, like a die grinder. But it seems to have adhered well. Um, you know. Nothing's rattling. It sounds like it's... Uh, you know, and these are not cracks, these are just where I ground down the edges of the, of the bird shit. So, um, I'm going to be putting a plate over top of this anyway. But, um, it's kind of cool. I kind of, uh, it was kind of a great place to practice on. Um, you know, uh, short of setting the car on fire. Um, it, uh, it's not some place that's going to be seen. And, uh, this is just going to be the area that we put the, um, uh, the um, roll bar on. So, uh, all right, well, that's my uh, first moment of welding, and uh, it seems like I'm at least somewhat capable of putting down a couple beads, so I'm excited about that. All righty, um, so I guess this might be an episode enough. Uh, I've got some stuff to stitch together. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that's it, I guess, for this one. Uh, I am Carl Galler with Carl Galler Builds. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you would like, share, subscribe. I um, still haven't figured out how to do all the, you know, links down below and blah, blah, blah. But one day. Um, but uh, I have figured out how to sort of weld. So uh, appreciate all the love, all the uh, keep the uh, suggestions coming and the comments. I love to interact with uh, the folks that are interested in this build. And uh, so I guess that's about it. And I am out. <laughs>